Hi, this is Frederick from Detroit Berlin, channel about modular gear, synthesizers in general and music production. This is my ultimate, favorite, most awesome synthesizer. It's the Moog Matriarch. From the moment I got it, I thought it was amazing. I really, really adore it. And now I have a Eurorack module that accompanies the Moog Matriarch in the best way possible. It is called the Matriarch Back to Front and it's from Voltage Vibes, a Belgian manufacturer and designer of Eurorack modules. The Matriarch Back to Front, in my opinion, it's the best accessory, the best companion for the Moog Matriarch because it takes all the outputs on the back and it brings them to the front. So if you have a Moog Matriarch and you have a modular system, whether it be big or small, and you like to use them together, this is a tool that is extremely affordable. It does take some HP, but in my opinion, what you get back from it is you will begin to patch the Moog Matriarch, the back outputs to the front inputs much more. It is, in my opinion, a disaster to always seek on the back where all the outputs are, what output you need. You can plug some things in and leave the cables dangling. And when you have cables plugged in on the top of the Matriarch, if you connected it to your rack and there's all these cables dangling, then it becomes impossible to reach behind your matriarch. But this is a solution from Voltage Vibes that takes care of all. You need some spare cables to connect it all. But apart from that, what you get in return is so much more playability, so much more patchability with your Eurorack uh, system. You, you get so much more joy out of your Moog matriarch. And that to me is worth gold. Before I had this, I used a mirror, a mirror to put it behind the Moog Matriarch to then read mirror text, all those outputs and inputs on the back of the Matriarch. I tried to read it with a mirror, I placed it in my modular and it was always a pain, a total pain and a disaster to yeah, then actually still get a cable in there because there's not too much room. My modular is pretty close together with my Eurorack system. It's built in and even if it's not built in, having a front panel with all those in and outputs from the Moog Matriarch just really accessible. It makes you use them so much more and from the moment I got this, my Moog Matriarch started to sound better, different, because I could modulate more things, I would be inspired more. So in my opinion, that's invaluable. I made another patch using the Matriarch back to front to send it to a voice, the through zero, quadrature through zero VCO from Duffer, the A110-4 on which I did a video earlier. Routing that through the Clavis Flex Shaper, using a sequencer, using the keyboard gate out to sequence, to trigger that sequencer so that it advances. 
I'm using the keyboard after touch out to apply some wave shaping to the flex shaper. Then I'm using the keyboard control voltage, the pitch out to control the pitch of the quadrature VCO. Then I'm using the mud wheel output to add some more wet mix of the delay signal of the Moog Matriarch. So I'm routing everything back to the Moog Matriarch and with the build up and drop control unit from Voltage Vibes, I'm using that to sync the delay from the Matriarch and to also apply voltage to the flex shaper and to apply voltage to the feedback from the Moog Matriarch. All that makes the patch really expressive and with a few modules and the Moog Matriarch you can make something that will really be a soundtrack on its own. Let's have a listen. Let's introduce the build up and drop the fader that adds a control voltage. Really nice unit. The trigger button also sinks the delay. Let's bring in the delay by moving the mud wheel up. and have a real performance. Let's add some exponential frequency modulation. So yeah, I think that is a nice way to, so, so using the keyboard section, all the outputs that are derived from the keyboard, uh, move it to, use it to modulate oscillators, external, modules or even the matriarch itself 
use that and you get so much more expression than only using the matriarch itself or using the matriarch with some Eurorack modules but with not really connecting them together in this way. And then the stereo delay, the inputs, you can do magical things with that, you can add so much more expression. Then the build up and drop unit, it adds another way of yeah, performance, so it really becomes a performance instrument. Let's have a real quick look at all the inputs and the outputs from the matriarch back to front from voltage vibes. Let's go over the module, see what in and outputs you have access to, which is pretty simple. They're all the Eurorack size in and outputs from the Moog matriarch. So looking at all the inputs and the outputs, you have three main sections, the ARP and sequencer section, the keyboard section with all the keyboard, pitch, gate, aftertouch, etc. outputs, and then the stereo delay section which features a second feedback CV input and a sync input and of course the two delay outputs, the left and the right one. The sequencer, very simple, you got the clock out, reset in, on off in, clock in, euro, size out, left and right outputs. Then the keyboard section has the keyboard gate, aftertouch, velocity, pitch, CV, uh, mud wheel and expression pedal out. So if you connect an expression pedal to the Moog Matriarch, you get the control voltage signal output right here. Then you got the two rubber grommets. You can remove them or you can make a cut in them to put the cables through. If you have a closed case with the back closed, I have a modular system with an open back so I can route all the cables on the back panel to the matriarch via the back. Otherwise you need to route them via the front so these come in handy if you have a closed case. The module is totally passive so it doesn't draw any current, you don't need to supply power and they're actually just jacks on the back, jacks on the front you connect them to the Moog Matriarch. So you need some cables. I use some cables that I do not particularly like to use on the front to patch. So I just put them in the Matriarch, put them in the Matriarch back to front module. And yeah, that's the way how it works. I totally like the concept. It's available in 3U. This is a 3U. It's yeah, a 3U high module. It's the vertical, but also available in 1U. So if you have a nice Eurorack case and you have some 1U space left, then you can yeah, buy the 1U version and save space that way. So there's not too much more to this module. Totally adore it. Please go check it out. If you want to support my channel, please take a look at my Patreon page. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to really thank you for watching and thank Peter from Voltage Vibes for creating such an amazing tool to get so much more out of your Moog Matriarch. Totally in love with the machine. I'm making so much more use from the matriarch right now with these in and these outputs readily accessible on my modular system. I really adore it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.